Hi everybody, uh, today I'm gonna show you how can we download and install a plagiarism uh, taker software. Uh, as you know, in postgraduate and undergraduate, most of the students they have got a challenge on article review, research works, and also the assignments as a means of plagiarism and duplicate of the data. So, uh, within this plagiarism uh, checker software, is, um, uh, we can easily uh, able to analyze how many percent that are copied from other resources and also how many percent that are duplicated our idea during our workers. Uh, after we know uh, the number of data that are copied from the other resources and also the duplicate of the data, we can be able to fix by using online uh, paraphrasing tools which are a keyboard. How can we use? Let's go. Uh, so, uh, as I tried to mention, uh, first uh, download uh, this parajarism checker software. And our main uh, objective is uh, try to analyze uh, the data that have parajarized uh, from our research work, article review, and uh, project, including assignments. Uh, this plagiarism checker software helps us to know uh, the percent or uh, the number of uh, duplicates of the data as a means of quantity, uh, case of plagiarism, uh, and the resource that is copied. If our data or our work is right, that means it doesn't have any duplicate of the data and plagiarism, it's okay. But if it is a plagiarism, uh, simply uh, remove it uh, with an online paraphrasing tool, which are a keyboard. Uh, within this uh, sentence, uh, we try to search uh, the keyboard uh, paraphrasing tools on online. So, uh, as I try to mention, first uh, we go to uh, Google in order to uh, download the plagiarism checker software then right on here get into a pc uh, get into pc then click on here on the beginning then uh, right on here uh, on the right side uh, plagiarism checker so please write this plagiarism checker and uh, click on go after that, uh, these are uh, the type of uh, software that uh, is applicable on plagiarism checker. So click on uh, the first one, then scroll in down, uh, then uh, click on download. These are the password. The password is one, two, three. Uh, so click on the download and uh, wait a minute till it finishes. Uh, I think the Wi-Fi is uh, limited, uh, so wait till it finishes. Then uh, open uh, or uh, click and show in the folder. Uh, extract uh, this file over here. Then the password is one two three. Then write the password one two three. Then okay. Uh, after this one, uh, click on here. Uh, then uh, right click and run as administrator in order to uh, install the software. Then uh, next, 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 and install. Then uh, you must be uh, check it. This one is check and finish. Then uh, continue. Click on continue. Then enter your email on here. Uh, uh, enter your email uh, on here. Uh, my keyboard doesn't write uh, at sign. So simply copy this at. Then uh, on here, uh, 
write our email for instance my email is amarich amarich uh, twenty twenty uh, at gmail dot com then enter then close uh, this one uh, click on yes click on uh, yes then uh, the, these are the software these are the installed software is this one uh, so uh, let us uh, activate this software uh, uh, click on the crack on the crack then copy this one copy this one then right click on this uh, software then open file location after we open file location uh, paste on here replace the file destination click on here uh, continue then we already finish it so the software is already activate then uh, open the software open our software uh, uh, for instance for instance these are my documents that i want to check uh, the plagiarism and the duplicate of uh, the data then uh, for instance you can copy uh, you can copy and paste on the software uh, click on online plagiarism software and select this one and delete after that paste that you select and analyze it uh, and uh, wait till it analyzes. for instance uh, this one uh, 62 percent is percentage is unique or original data but 38 percent is plagiarized that are copied from another resources so the total duplicate of the data is 38 percent and uh, the resource or the copied data is this one or um, the highlight one so uh, we can analyze uh, all this way uh, and also um, uh, if our data is uh, high simply click on this load of uh, the document load the document then uh, select our document for instance this is my document and uh, open click on open then analyze it till uh, finish this one uh, we must be wait the red one uh, is very uh, uh, that means the data is copied from another resource these are the resource where the data is come from uh, or uh, where the data is uh, we have taken so uh, um, zero means the data is genuine in a sense uh, we write by ourselves so it doesn't need any uh, rewriting so uh, these are uh, the report uh, these are the summary of the report 61 percent is uh, unique and um, 39 percent uh, is duplicated so these are my overall document so uh, as you have seen on here uh, this the highlight one is copied from another resource right uh, even when we highlight this one uh, the data is found or taken from uh, this resource or uh, directly informs where the data is taken after that we can uh, save um, this one we can save uh, uh, this one for instance in pdf format uh, on a desktop then uh, save it uh, these are uh, the overall uh, report of my document 39 percent is plagiarism so uh, after i have got uh, this data after i have got this data uh, we can uh, refresh it on online uh, for instance this one and uh, 
select this one or you can write by yourself this one uh, these are the paraphrasing tools copy and uh, paste on the google then enter then uh, click on here paraphrasing tools or killbot ai so i click on here uh, after that these are the report for instance this highlight one is high uh, directly taken from another resource so you can rewrite again within this online paraphrasing tools right uh, so copy and paste on here right uh, these are the copy data from another resource then uh, paraphrase on click on paraphrase uh, these are uh, the rewritten for instance the background irrigation is artificial application of water to plant for their uh, growth and maturity the background artificial application of water to plant for development and uh, maturation is known as irrigation. So, as you have seen on here, it paraphrase. For instance, this sentence is begin irrigation water, but on here, in order to augment the water, uh, the sentence is uh, the sense or the message is the same, but the writing style is different. These are uh, the online paraphrasing tools that protect ourselves uh, from plagiarism and duplicate of the data. After we paraphrase it, uh, copy on here does don't do make a copy on here rather than copy on here. Let's copy the full of the text, copy and paste to our document. For instance, if this one is plagiarism document, then uh, delete on here and uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, for instance, if the paradigm is document on here, this one, then delete on here and uh, paste on here, seems like for this one. So we will do on this way. I hope uh, the video is very helpful. Today's video it seems like for this one. Uh, please uh, like, subscribe and comment my YouTube channel. Uh, till we meet each other by other videos. Have a nice time. Bye. Love you guys.